It's a meditator. This is a spot where I'll 3x pre. But since I don't have enough chips, I really can't because this is like the bottom the the bottom of my range. I don't have enough chips to see that and have like fold equity, so I have to fold. This is a tournament, you know. Maybe I, I should have, if I've been like paying attention to like the the action beforehand. But just because I don't know the history, like you know, I, I would probably gone fold and you know, I would have won. So that was popular. What bipolar? He is popular, do you think? You're bipolar, not so bad. Thing. If you watch the story, you'll see. What? What is he saying? Not. Um. More. Strict. Conform, uh, uh this because this is the bottom of my range, you know. So, I'm um, see betting always to like continue with the over bet on the turn. But I'll take it down. It's 33, it's got a pip. You heard of me, got the. Givanchi. Now I'm a, I'm a 3 bet it. 3 exit. 3 exit because we're still like low, so. And I'm, I'm in the low jack, so. So. Like. No. And my fold equity has just like lowered just a bit, just because I just uh, raised last pot and just see better. So now, no matter what, if I flop uh, the nuts, you know, a flop quads or whatever, a full bolt, and then I'm gonna see better. But if I flop nothing, you know, even if it's an ace high board, I'm, I'm gonna see better. Now there's two people. Uh, so I'm gonna definitely see bet it. I was gonna see bet a little bit small, but I'm gonna do half. Um, it's not even half pot. It's like a little bit less than half pot. So I get a call here, and what I put them on is like some sort of draw. Eight nine just got there, right? Uh, Jack ten is more likely, but now I'm gonna over pot it. So all the draws that he had, can actually um, I'll price them, you know, because now they actually got they actually got priced in. And let's see, we're gonna gamble here, boys. If he shoves, because most likely has some sort of ten nine, because I don't block that. I block check ten. So right now. What should I do? I'm gonna just jam because, like, it looks like a bluff. A6. Oh, how do you have a6, dude? I mean, how do you even hit the 6? That's so sick. Oh my god. Is this a call? Pretty much, right? What do you guys think? Welcome back, it's Ultimate. I'm in a small blind at a final table here. It's uh, 500 guaranteed. You know? So I actually need the bread. 
and um, we have UTG almost 3x are pre everybody folds and it's down to me I just call we don't get I don't want to get it in pre because you know there's still nine people at the table so queen four deuce flop I'm thinking I'm going for a check raise on and you know I'm trying to get most of the chips and make it make him make a mistake so I check he bets 77,000 I tank I tank I tank I tank and I shove for 180 he just snap calls like doesn't even think twice run out seems good for me you know no five no ace no king and the ace hits the river takes it down trap them on the flop let's go 77k right put 180 in there he's getting like uh let's say three uh, 400 he needs it's getting like a three to one to call there four to one right well thank you for tuning in till next time ultimate stay safe And let's crush. So right here I find myself a king queen. The big blind, I'm you know, I just check. I don't I want to raise but I wanna keep all their like low hands in there, so I ended up getting a full house, this guy ended up having quads. That's just how it happens. Next hand, you know, nothing. And then next time I have pocket queens and I'm up against my nemesis once again. Here we go. So he limps in and I raise actually to 900 and the blinds are 150. You know, I check flop because I don't, you know, I'm only going to get called by king there. So he, he actually ends up getting the flush. I have the queen high, he has the ace high. So... After that, a couple of hands later, we had a five minute break. So, during these hands, then I finally pick up kings. You know, we're back from break. I'm like, yo, kings, I'm the man. You know, here we go. I'm like, yeah, there's limper. I raced a 900 again. I get a three bet. I get called, this guy calls with 7-4, shows up with aces, and, you know, we run it. GG, good game. What do you guys think? Just, like, automatic spots, I guess? We'll see. Welcome back, it's Ultimate. Ah, oh, as you can hear in my voice, I don't really want to do this right now. I was playing so good. Um, I forget, I think it's like a 250 guaranteed, whatever. But I was playing good, and I've been kind of like aggravated because I had to do a whole bunch of things in the morning. And um, I've been sitting out for like almost ever, haven't been playing playing or paying attention to the to the game but i have like 20k uh or less in chips here i actually sat out because i wasn't paying attention and that kind of pissed me off and then next hand i have a very good uh image at this table very tight so uh next hand i see um it's 10 i'm on the button i shove and i get it through you know respect the third hand i have ace jack I actually have ace jack suited and the big blind is sitting out. So this guy over here just limps, freaking Rosetti just limps with the ace queen off. Like, I don't understand this. And there's like three minutes till the break. You know, I'm, I'm just trying to hold and just actually make it to the money, you know, so I could actually, you know, make it to the final table. But I think, I think I'm like, yo, what is he going to, you know, what is he going to have? Like more like, most likely like 
pairs or something, you know, small pocket pairs that he doesn't want to play, and I get it in, and he has these coins, so I don't know, uh, now, being results oriented, I should have just, like, called, knowing that I probably don't have much fold equity, but I didn't really think he was going to limp with ace queen, I haven't been paying attention to the game, so, you know, maybe I could have, like, actually, for foresaw this, or, um, you know, I was also thinking that it was like half his stack, so he wouldn't just call off with any pocket pair, so, you know, and, you know, it is what it is, it's poker, I kind of messed up here, I wasn't paying attention, everything, you know, now I have to rebuy, and I'm gonna be short stacked, cause I don't, I, there's probably like five minutes left to, um, late registration, so, good luck guys, you know, good game, it happens. Thank you, and please give me your opinion, if I could have played this any other way, most likely I could have just called, um, what do you guys think? I'm back, I'm in a tough spot, there's still 20 people left to cash, I'm up against an aggressive player, I put him on ace 10, king 10, so I have what? A gutter plus like one over card. Uh, so it's like four, maybe like seven out here. Kind of have to call, man. I think I want to fold so bad though. Uh, I'll fold just because I want to be in the money. I'm asking what he has. Yeah. I guess with like you know, less than two you know, blinds, you know, I have to shove it in here. Let me close the bike, keep your money for the last time. What are my thoughts on Doyle saying that ACR is soft? I imagine probably has some sort of clause in his contract with him to say ACR is soft. Fortunately, Doyle was nice enough to mention that he somehow combined this a long time ago when the government purposely uh, messed up. Or made the leave. And, um, GG. It's generally good business to not do on your business partners. But I'm not a business with people. And I'm not a business with you, not my quote unquote business partners. I'm looking out for all of you. I guess I should have called her with Ace Jack. What do you guys think? Till next time, thank you for.